farm credit is a step to empower farmers, a simple step uh, that we encourage farmers all over the country in India. We are going to discuss about the goals, the farm uh, credit execution, how we generate income and about our team. We ask the uh, farmers to create the, to cultivate the required crop. At the same time, we make uh, requirements. We take the requirements from the food processing companies. At the same time, we make, we reach them with the numerous uh, social media activities around us, with the social media activities around us. And at the same time, we reach the farmers. At the same time, we reach the merchants around us. We are reaching through technology. We are cre creating advertisements. We are reaching people through registrations, online registrations. At the same time, we are reaching through our team. We are hiring interns uh, so these people can go and uh, reach the uh, backward farmers from the backward village sector people or the rural areas in and around the country. At present, we have 14 ongoing projects in hand where uh, there is a requirement of around 2.2 uh, 2 crores of Indian currency. For only three projects, we need two crores of Indian currency. And for the remaining uh, remaining 11 projects, we regenerate the income from the present ongoing projects and then we reinvest it on the remaining 11 projects. Now, how we make of how we make use of funds? For example, if a company is funding us, investing in farm credit, then these are the main criteria where we are going to invest and use our funds. Farm credit is a step to empower farmers, a simple step uh, that we encourage farmers all over the country in India. And today we are going to discuss about the five main parts, uh, three, four main parts of farm credit. We are going to discuss about the goals, the farm uh, credit execution, how we generate income and about our team. Firstly, uh, farm credit is a, a basic step where we connect with the farmers at the same time with the merchants both B2 and B2C service and B2B service. In this, we create a demand at the we create a demand at the farmer's stage by taking the orders from the uh, merchants and business people all around or the food processing units all over the country. And we this step of farm credit is just to avoid the dollar system that is affecting farmers. And what we do in farm credit, we, we ask the uh, farmers to create the, to cultivate the required crop. At the same time, we make uh, requirements. We take the requirements from the food processing companies. At the same time, we make, we reach them with the numerous uh, social media activities around us, with the social media activities around us. And at the same time, we reach the farmers. At the same time, we reach the merchants around. And through technology, how we are reaching through technology, we are cre creating advertisements we are reaching people through registrations, online registrations. At the same time, we are reaching through our team. We are hiring interns. Uh, so these people can go and uh, reach the uh, backward farmers from the backward village sector people or the rural areas in and around the country. So how we create a data uh, means how we double our plans by creating this type of uh, thing. We, we go to the farmers first. We take the available goods, we take the available procurement goods, or we take the harvest dates from the farmers and then go to the merchants or to the business people. We ask the requirements, we ask the requirement and connect the farmer from his place to the merchants directly without any middle person. So this helps the farmer in getting sold the product and getting the price of the product on the same day of the selling. So how we correct our uh, database, how we correct our database. From the previous loads we have sent to the merchants, what we do is we take the feedback from the merchants or the business people, and then we recorrect the pattern of work. We recorrect the pattern of work and improve the inspection of the procurement. Uh, sometimes the goods may have some kind of diseases. The crop may have some kind of diseases and we reach it with the particular, we improve the procurement team and then we recheck it and then we we get the samples to the uh, to the merchants and we manage the merchants to give us more orders to give us multiple orders on the next day by improving our skills and uh, uh, by improving our procurement team we do this so and how we generate our income at present we have 14 ongoing projects in hand 
where uh, there is a requirement of around 2.2 uh, 2 crores of Indian currency. For only three projects, we need 2 crores of Indian currency. And for the remaining uh, remain 11 projects, we regenerate the income from the present ongoing projects and then we reinvest it on the remaining 11 projects. At the same time, how we provide, uh, how we, uh, means how we generate the income in farm credit. For example, if a merchant requires a peanut of around 500 tons or 500, uh, 5,000 tons, we make sure if the kilo of peanut is for 14 rupees, we, we will give a quotation of around 17 rupees to the merchant and we purchase it from farmer for around 14 rupees and the 3 rupees margin is our generated income for 1 kilo. Then uh, when it comes to tons, it will be in a multiple number. So in this way, we generate income for farm credit and we employ people here and not only uh, permanent employees, we take internships, we give internships to graduate students at the same time, we, we give particular internships uh, uh, to the people uh, who are in need, who are in need of internships of, uh, for a good cause. At the same time, we give uh, employment to the labor too. We generate income to the labor too on daily basis. Now, how we make of how we make use of funds? For example, if a company is funding us, investing in farm credit, then these are the main criteria where we are going to invest and use our funds. Firstly, the procurement and expansion, where procurement also includes the survey, the survey of our beam. At the same time, the inspection after the harvest both includes in the procurement itself. Then expansion on our daily basis, on our daily basis, we are giving some home deliveries from the, from the COVID time. From COVID time, we are, uh, what we are doing is we are making some uh, home deliveries to the people who can't go to the markets or uh, who can't reach the nearby markets. Then we are uh, making some home deliveries to people too. This is the B2C service we are doing in Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh, India. At the same time, second category is logistics and delivery. For logistics uh, from farmer place, we need to uh, provide good logistics to the merchants here or the, to the business people. So we are providing, we are taking the step like uh, providing good logistic support to the merchants so that they may not worry about their good they are purchasing on. And the delivery service, which I said to you earlier, during from the past COVID coronavirus time or the uh, lockdown during lockdown period, we have made three thousand plus deliveries only in Vishakhapatnam in span of three months and then funds used for uh, employment for in employment cases as i said you earlier uh, we are hiring interns we are having hiring permanent employees at the same time we are hiring daily wage labors too so that uh, they uh, those who come to carry the goods uh, from the logistic area to the go down or to the from the go down to the client base client base so we are managing these three client kind kinds of employment too at the same time, here you can look uh, uh, onto our happy farmers. Uh, this is the farmer uh, who who bought uh, his lemon lemon. Uh, who whom we made a good uh, sale of his lemon whole about of eight acres of lemons lemons that lemonoids. Uh, we helped him here, and then here you can look this farmer here the same farmer. He owns the dragon fruit uh, dragon fruit uh, around of uh, six acres. And we made a sale of around the all around the season. We made a good sale of the dragon fruit here. It's completely organic. And uh, we helped this these two farmers. We helped these two farmers in selling their milk products too. Milk and milk products. We helped these farmers. And here in the blue sari, uh, uh, she is a tribal farmer. And uh, they uh, the whole family, the whole tribal family are involved in are involved in uh, cashew. You can see in our hand, it's a hand-picked cashew. Uh, they are involved in collecting the cashews from their ancestors. And they, are, they have a processing unit. And we are purchasing from them. And we are making some deliveries, uh, not only in India, but we have sent our deliveries to USA to America. And then here are some credits and appreciations which we received from the government. He is our uh, honorable uh, district magistrate and collector of Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, a Malkajun, IAS, IAS, Indian Administrative Service. And uh, here, uh, during the pandemic time, during the pandemic time, we have made some feed the need. This is not from the accounts of uh, farm credit, but some people who 
are interested in donating the people they have paid the bills of the people so that we gave the required products to the people in need for free for free here is the farm uh, farm credit feed the need. this this campaign is run on the uh, in the name of feed the need campaign a campaign that uh, reaches the needy through us so that uh, that also uh, some of the media channels and some of the newspaper cuttings you can look into here which are given in telugu language telugu language is a re regional language of vishakapatnam andhra pradesh so we have made a big campaign feed the need program through which we have donated around uh, near about uh, 150 to 200 people uh, 200 families all around vishakapatnam during the pandemic for free or we have distributed all the required goods for them and uh, all the need is uh, here itself we have we required this amount as our investment and thank you for now